Hey everybody, it's Lori. Welcome back to Pizzazz Studios. Today I'm making a nine inch round wood clock that has already been primed with white paint. And I'm just laying down some house paint here. And I'll leave my recipes and all the colors I use down in the description box for you if you'd like to reference those. Now I'm using house paint on this clock because I originally was going to paint using some of my flowers and I was going to put three flowers on my clock and I started to do that but as you see as the video goes along that did not turn out very well so I ended up scraping it and I ended up doing something completely different. So here I'm just finishing my base paint here and I'm just going to speed this part of the video up for you. So now if you're wondering where I get my clocks from, this particular one actually came from Target and it's nine inches round and it's wood and it comes with the hands and the clock mechanism and everything as a kit. And I'm just making sure that all my base paint is nice and smooth and my clock is completely covered. And then I give it a spin just to level everything out here. So now once you have all your base paint down and everything looks nice and leveled out and you have everything covered, you want to use your torch and just lightly go over the paint to remove any air bubbles in your paint. And so now I start to lay down my colors and the first color I'm using is violet. Okay, and the second color here that I'm putting down is turquoise. So those first two colors were from Artist Loft, which are a Michaels brand paint. And now I'm putting down an aqua green by Liquitex Basics. And this one here is Primary Blue, also by Liquitex Basics. And now I'm putting down some 24 karat gold by Deco Art. And then I'm going to put down a black cell activator. And I will have the recipe for my cell activator in the description box for you. And now, since my intention was to create my flowers, I am blowing out my flowers here by mouth. And it started out really pretty, but then it just kind of all went wrong and I didn't like the whole composition of it. And like I said, I ended up scraping the whole thing. But continue to watch and you'll see what happened and you'll see the results at the end of the video. And it really did come out amazing. It's really super pretty clock, very original. So the whole thing with this was I was using a new recipe and I kept stretching out my paint trying to form my petals and it just wasn't working and I don't know. I like the colors a lot and I like the reactions I'm getting in my paint but I did not like the overall shape of my flowers and therefore that is why I ended up scraping it. So the rest of this part is just me continuing to do the same thing I already did. So I will speed this part of the video up for you. So at this point, I'm looking at it and I'm saying, eh, I'm not really loving this so much, although I so much love these colors, but I'm not liking the whole composition overall. So I decided I would take a marble and I'm gonna roll this marble through my painting in hopes it creates something really cool and that I like. But as you will see, nope, still didn't like it. <laughs> So now at this point, I've decided, oh, this is kind of neat, but 
I like the colors a lot, but it's still not quite doing it for me. So I'm going to grab my comb and run my comb through it and see what I get with this. Okay, so now I'm at the point where I think I've just totally made an ugly mess. <laughs> so I go ahead and spin this whole thing off and decide I'm frustrated and now what am I going to do? But I keep going. So at this point, I decide I liked the colors a lot and I liked some of the sections that I had before when I was doing it and I decided to sort of start over but do it differently. So I'm just laying down my paints again, starting with the violet and the same colors in the same order that I did at the beginning of the video. the way the base looks after I spun it out so I have some really cool colors and effects going on and so I decided I would just go ahead and torch this now and leave out the gold and put some black down my black cell activator and start blowing it out with my mouth and at this point I decide I liked the marble look so I'm gonna try the marble again and we'll see what I get And so at this point, I'm very happy with this. I think it's looking really cool. So I roll the marble off and then I decide I'm going to tilt it. And so at this point, I realize there is not a lot of paint on my clock. So I'm adding some more paint and I also am not enjoying all the white. I feel like there's too much white and I leave a lot more color. So I'm gonna add some more paint. And I'm laying it down sort of more in like a splatter effect. And now I've decided that I have a good amount of paint up here and a lot more color. So I'm going to add some white just around the edges and then I'm going to tilt it. done tilting and I'm just going over my edges and I decide just give it a little bit of a spin and so now it's spinning and it's slowing down and I decide oh I think I'm gonna spin it the other direction one more time and as I do my clock decides it wants to fall off my cups that I have underneath it <laughs> But all is good because it did not get damaged and it really basically just landed on its side, which is an easy fix. And I keep going. And now I am just about finished and I've decided I want to add some lines into my paint. So I'm using a wooden skewer to do that. So now at this point I give it one last 
small spin here on my spinner and then I will go in and give you a close-up on the finished piece and I love the way it turned out so it just goes to show you although this took me a very long time to create it is truly a one-of-a-kind piece of art and don't give up because you never know what you might end up with And in just a moment, I will show you a couple of still photos of the finished clock all dried and it has the clock mechanism installed. And you can go to pizzazzstudios.com if you're interested in purchasing it or you can email me. The email address is down in the description box of the video. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Have a great day.